So for today's Vita Veda Vada, I am going to just answer some questions off of my, um, where I asked for questions and now they are going to be answered type of video. But I figured since I'll probably have a few days during the month of April where I'm going to be like, I have no idea what video to make, what um, to talk about, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to break it up and do a few videos at a time. Plus, I feel like people would rather watch videos that are like under 8 minutes rather than 20 minutes. At least I know that that's how I feel a lot of times because I don't have time to watch, you know, a bunch of long videos in one day. So the shorter ones are kind of nice because then I can watch more people's videos. We will start with Michaela J. She says, um, I would love to know to what extent you will go to have kids, IVF, surrogacy, etc. Also, if that is an option for you, when would you start going that route? Like years, etc. I hope this doesn't cross the line. I love you and I can't wait for a little one to come your way. It definitely hasn't crossed the line, Michaela, because I pretty much share everything with you guys. And I have kind of already talked about it, but my dog's crying for me back there. Uh, but anyways, uh, so what we would be what we have talked about so far at least is we have talked about um, IVF, we've talked about um, possibly starting IVF at like, the beginning of next year if we are not pregnant by like November, probably November cycle we would start planning it in December and then be ready to go that route starting like the beginning of the year because it does take some planning and appointments and all that good stuff as I learned from a close friend that's doing that. Sarah Loves Peter. If you don't know Sarah Loves Peter's channel, you should go and check her out down below because she's currently getting ready to start all the exciting stuff of IVF number two. Um, yes, we would be willing to do IVF. Uh, we have talked about adoption. We would be willing to do that. I don't know by any sorts like what kind of adoption, private, um, foster to adopt. I don't know any of that. That's, that's like way down the road. I hope. I hope. So, um, as far as surrogacy, we've never talked about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm, I've never thought about it, talked about it, um, for us personally. So I don't really know. Let's see here, Gregory Al Abler, um, that's just the name of the channel it shows, asked, how old is your dog? Will our dog Todd, which you've seen in previous videos, we adopted him the end of March or like in the middle of March. Um, Cause we had fostered him for a month first. He, when we picked, when we got him, his papers say, you know, between 12 to 15 months, they weren't really sure because they um, rescued him from, well, he was rescued by a shelter and then they, the organization we got him from actually um, went and like got him cause they do strictly German Shepherd mixes and breeds, so. We don't really know exactly how old he is, but they think he's probably almost full grown, even though he looks pretty small because he is, but he still has like puppy tendencies. So it's kind of hard to say. We're not going to probably ever really know unless we did like a lot of blood work, if that could even help us. So alrighty, married and blessed asks, could you do a baby by maternity haul if you already have bought stuff? Video. <laughs> I love to see TTC or stash a baby maternity items to use for the future. Um, I definitely could. Um, I, ha I do have a baby clothes haul um, a while back when I bought like a ton of stuff up at Macy's during a sale. Um, so you can check that out. Um, I'll put that link below as well just in case some of you haven't seen it and are interested. And our J and J plus one asked a couple things. They said, where did you get your bedding set? It's so awesome. Thank you. And also your shirt shower curtain. We have the same color scheme. Well, you're a very good judge of color schemes because I love the colors that I have. Um, so the bedding set from my one of my last videos is from Kohl's. It's apartment nine. So it's not like a high-end whatever, 
but I love apartment nine stuff and that bedding set is adorable. And actually the sheets are a Kohl's brand, I can't remember. So they're not even apartment nine because these sheets were cheaper than apartment nine. Um, my curtain I got from JC Penney's um, on sale and yeah, that answers that question. Let's see, so here is a whole list from Darkest Mary, which I am so happy to answer. Um, just checking to see, oh my gosh, I'm at seven minutes already. Holy go. Guess I'm not going to be making that five minute video. I was going to try to do. I'll answer her questions last and then I'll cut it off and do the rest later. She said, what is your favorite junk food? Probably chips. I like chips and dip. That's amazing. And it's definitely a junk food. Does your hubby ever want to vlog with you? Does he want to? Eh, not really. Does he do it with me? Yes, he does. I'm doing a thumbs up a lot today. I don't know why. Um, but yes, he does. And he doesn't mind. He says he feels awkward sometimes, but he'll do it with me. Do you use Pinterest for ideas on how to decorate? Uh, not so much, but I, I do look, but I don't normally do things from it because a lot of them are above my skill level. But I do look on there and try to get some ideas from it. Um, would you ever get another pet? Probably, because my husband's a pet freak and it would probably be a dog but not for a long time, not until we have a kid and everything. So what's your favorite wild animal? LOL. I know my questions are all over the place, but for some reason I'd like to know this about you. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> my favorite wild animal. You got me on that one. Cause I don't know. I don't have a, I don't think I have a favorite wild animal. Don't hate me. Um, what does your hubby do that melts your heart? And what does he do that drives you crazy? LOL. That's crazy that you have that talent. You should talk about pole vaulting. Cause I am a pole vaulter, hidden talent. I wish I still did it, but I don't. Um, cause there's not really just places like a gym you can go over to and hop on a pole vaulting mat. It just doesn't happen. But what does he do that melts my heart? That's so cute. I would have to say his generosity and love towards my, like us as a family, even though we don't have any kids yet, he's always putting me first and our family first. And he's always telling me how beautiful I am. He's always telling me I look amazing. He's always telling me I'm looking attractive. Like all of those. He says he will always say those things to me. So we'll see. Uh, what does he do that drives me crazy? Well, I don't really know. Like I know there are, oh, well, the thing is, there is one thing. Like when we try to clean together, I have, I'm kind of OCD, so when he tries to do things, it drives me nuts because he doesn't do it my way, especially laundry. He has shrunk many of my items, and I've gotten angry with him about that. <laughs> but, you know, we all do things that drive each other or spouses crazy, so drive, me, drive our spouses crazy. Not each other's spouses crazy, but yes. So, I don't know, those are cute. Thank you for your questions, Darkest Fairy. I appreciate everyone so far. I didn't get through that many, but I didn't want this to make this a 20 minute video. So I will get to more throughout the rest of the month of April. So I will talk to you guys later, bye. Oh my gosh, look at that hair. Okay, welcome to How Does Abby Get Ready to Do Her Videos? Especially her hair. Now that I'm all ready for my beauty debut, Whew. here we go. Okay, anyways, today I thought I would do um, a TTC update since I haven't done that in a while. Um, <laughs> this guy's